for tonight reports that the CN Road Cruiser service has been sold and Mount Pearl 8 of Terry Ryan Jr. signs with the Montreal Canadiens. Good evening, I'm Glenn Tilly. This is News Final, CBC's late night regional information package. It appears the CN Road Cruiser service has been sold and the buyers are well known in the transportation business. They're the Roberts of Triton, the same family that tried to operate an airline in this province two years ago. As Brenda Murray reports, the sale has the CN employees worried. Pat Barker drove his bus into the lot at Grand Falls, Windsor today, but he's afraid that after 17 years, his driving days with CN might be numbered. If the rumors are true, I guess there will be no uh, no road cruiser drivers with the new company. It's uh, it's a wait and see now with Mrs. Roberts and uh, see how she, in fact, is going to run the system. Barker is worried because it appears the Roberts of Triton have purchased the CN road cruiser service, the same family who tried to run the short-lived Triton Airlines. Now they're trying for something more down to earth. Neither the Roberts family nor CN would comment today. Both say the sale isn't official. But the head of the union says he saw a news release that detailed the sale. And the union is not at all pleased with the privatization. Pat Barker is the head of the union. I think the deal is not very good for Newfoundlanders. The drivers and the employees are definitely going to lose jobs over it. But the people in Newfoundland are the ones that are going to suffer if there is another reduction in these services. Passengers too seem troubled by the sale and by the rumors of staff cuts. With the sale of the bus service uh, in the winter time, we're we're wondering if we will have, still have the same experienced drivers. And uh, from myself, I don't know if I'll be using the service. Where are you going today? The union says the Roberts will review the bus service in the next two months. And then it's afraid the service might be decreased while the rates are increased. Brenda Murray, CBC News, St. John. There seems to be...